So chat GPT has given us some hints about their upcoming update. So this is chat GPT's latest update page. And here you can see, right, chat GPT can now see, hear, and speak. So let's just break down what these words see, hear, and speak mean at all. And before that, for accessing this website, you know, to just Google OpenAI, you'll be getting OpenAI.com is their official website. Just click that. If you just scroll down in this website, here we'll be having this thing called as latest updates. And under that, here you can see, right, ChatGPT can now see, hear, and speak. And if you click that, you'll be basically taken back to the website that I am showing you over here. So first thing, what they mean by see is that now we can search with the help of images. Like we can upload an image to chat GPT and ask it to, you know, summarize that image or ask any doubts from that image. And by here, what they mean is that chat GPT can listen to your own voice. So it's like an assistant. We have used Google Assistant, Siri, right? So this is going to be like a chat GPT assistant. And this could be used with their app. You know, chat GPT has their mobile app, if you don't know. And with speak, it's obvious, right? Chat GPT has an assistant, and if you speak to that, Chat GPT needs to respond to you. So, through the website, Chat GPT responds to text, but in the app, in this update, Chat GPT can speak, it will have a voice. So, it's going to be so crazy. Here, they have clearly mentioned they are going to roll out a new voice and image feature, and by this way, we can have a daily conversation with Chat GPT. What was this house like? So, I think this is one of those voices that that GPT is going to talk with us and we can even talk back to that. So simply like an assistant, we can ask any questions from the net or our daily life. And here you can see this is basically how you enable this feature. So here they have given us some voice samples. So if you just play it. Once in a tranquil woodland, there so This is called as Junifer and I think they have currently five voices. There was a fluffy mama. So this is a male voice and... That named Lila. This is like a much more older voice. So you can just change the voices, I guess. And next cool thing, as I told you, is Chat GPT has images. So now you can send Chat GPT images and ask it to analyze our image or solve any problems. And they have also given an example for that. So they have just asked Chat GPT to help me lower my bikes. So this is the image that the user has sent. It has a seat high rise and they want Chat GPT to help to lower the seat. And Chat GPT will basically give the necessary instructions like here you can see this is basically like the text but we are giving an image over there so this makes the work so easy this is the image thing with chat tip so these are basically the main features and if you want to just know more when this feature is going to come the plus and enterprise users will get to experience voice and images in the next two weeks and i think it will take time for the free users to access this feature so only the paid users will be accessing it now and if you want to know about this, you can just click on this underlining thing. And you need to click on read paper. So this will basically give you the PDF file of chat GPT's vision system, which is that image thing. You can basically read this if you are interested in what they are doing, the underlying technology. And uh, they are also having an abstract over here. So this is basically how this is going to work. I'm so excited to see this. And let me know in the comments if you are also eager to use this feature in the future. So that's it guys, check the playlist of my channel, I've done a lot of programming videos and AI related videos, check them out, subscribe me, thanks for watching.